So in this video, I will show you a very cool way how you can do audio docking in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. Short disclaimer, DaVinci Resolve for the iPad has a function how you can really handy do audio docking, but it doesn't really work because at the moment the Fairlight page, and this is what we need today as well, is not completely done yet. We have to wait until an update comes out and they introduce more of the functions. Like for example, the, the mixer is not completely available yet. If I open the mixer, it's completely empty here. And there's one function in DaVinci Resolve that makes it super handy how you can automatically, it can understand and see by sending in the channels where there is a voice and then there's music and so you don't have to do much anymore. I will show this in a separate video in the future when this comes out. It's already working on the desktop, but not yet here on the iPad. So, but how can we do this? I mean, you can always go in manually and change the gain of your different voices, but that means for every change, you have to create four keyframes. And the thing I, or the way that I show you today is at least a faster way and that you can already use in the iPad. So you have to come to the Fairlight page and the first track here is our voice. And the second one I just make is bigger is our audio. So what we have to do now is we have to click this icon here because with this icon, we can now select a specific part of our track. Let's say, Exactly here on that part, I would talk. I mean, in this video now, I'm talking all the time, but just for the purpose of the video. So let's do it like this. So if I marked everything here inside, and now if I go in with my mouse and select the gain line and remove it, you will see that I automatically create four keyframes. So if I drag this one now slower, now you see that the music becomes more quiet and I have already four keyframes. So this is a huge advantage. So you don't have to do it all manually, one by one, one by one. You can just select the part, take the gain line down and you have those four key keyframes. So I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a the bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.